So me and the camera guy were just talking about why PCBs are green. And it struck me as a fairly interesting conversation that we had. So I would like to talk about why PCBs are usually green. Now, not all PCBs, not all PCBs are green, of course. You know, there, there's some good PCBs out there. They're not all bad. They're not all green. But green is by far the most common color of PCB. And we have a few samples here of various ones. This one is green, this one is green, this one is black, and this one seems to have nothing on it. So let's talk first about what the colors are. The color that is laid down there is called a solder mask. And the solder mask is essentially what keeps the solder from going in places that it shouldn't. So these open areas that you can see, there's a little solder here, there's a little solder here. These are actually soldered on pads. There's no mask in that part. So the solder can go and it can adhere and it can do the things that it needs to do. But we don't have solder going places that it doesn't need to be. So it is in short, just a solder mask, but why green? So originally, the green was the first formulation of solder mask that happened and it just kind of stuck around the industry so a big reason that a lot of them are green is that they've just always been green but since it was the first formulation and it is so common it is also the cheapest so a lot of times when you get something made in a color that's not green there's an upcharge for it why would you want to continue using green besides the low cost well originally when you had these new vision inspection equipment so it would go around and it would make sure that everything was placed properly the green has a really good contrast and, and you can see here the green has really good contrast with the silk screening and the silk screening is the print so we've got this white print against the green background you can see there are like there's th these surface mount capacitors here there's more spots right here here and here for it and your vision camera can not only see well is there the little white outline still? Was it placed right? Or even your vision camera, when you've got it, your pick and place machine, there'll be some reference marks somewhere. This one uh, is probably covered up, but there's reference marks on there. Oh, this one's dusty. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's probably a reference mark there. It will tell the vision camera system where it is on the PCB, and then it can use that to start placing. And then with the silk screening, and there's just, it's kind of, complicated i suppose but the green offered a really good contrast originally and then the cameras were all tuned for it you know these days we have regular vision cameras and ai learning type stuff that can get around colors but the contrast was extremely important in the early days of automated manufacturing for us to be able to see what's going on now here's an oddball here is it is it uh really like a, a tan color to our solder mask no, it's actually that there is no soldering going on on this side of the board, so they didn't spend the money to put a solder mask on that side. This one, in fact, is actually a red solder mask. So you can have about any color of mask. Red, purple, black, green, blue, I've seen. There, there's really any color that you want to do these days, and most of the camera systems and pick and play systems can deal with those colors the contrast is well enough now you know i've seen white as well but then they use black silk screen on them so that they can get that contrast back i reckon probably more expensive because almost all silk screening is done in white i mean we look at all of these it's all white silk screening so if you have a white solder mask you have to use black so that you can have contrast and be able to read things and also give your your vision equipment some reference point so it'll know if it's off or be able to inspect and see if there's any problems with how the components were placed so those those are the big reasons why green is still ubiquitous there's the cost there's the ease of using your cameras your inspection equipment your pick and place it all is originally tuned to just green with the white silk screening on there the military found i mean this is back in the 50s so is it even pff, does it even count anymore i don't know but originally the military found that the green was best for adverse conditions but also it offered the contrast we're kind of going back to the contrast thing uh, but they found that the green itself at least in the early formulations had the best really mechanical properties when it boils down to it 
and that allowed them to have things that were better in rough conditions and you know sandy conditions and the adverse conditions that you would find for the aviation industry the green was at the time the best now i believe that material properties have probably come so far along that that is really no longer the case but there's going to be a lot of military contractors that still say that it needs to be green and a lot of that is going to be the inspection process it's going to just be standards so really what this boils down to today is that most pcbs are green because they used to be green and because most of them are green and they used to be green green is the cheapest and most companies when they produce something they're trying to shave pennies because if you're producing 10,000 of something and you can shave one penny off of each one, and, and of course it depends on the size of the PCB, something of this size and shape, you may be shaving five pennies off of it. And if you're producing 10,000 of these, that's 10,000 five penny pieces. That's, that's a lot of money over the long term when you're a larger company especially. So, so why are they green? Because they have been green and that's really all that it boils down to i believe at this point with the new vision cameras with the new pick and place they don't care anymore as long as you have contrast so the ability to print your silk screen in whatever color that you want these days combined with the ability to have whatever solder mask color that you want these days the world is your oyster and that's why our new escs that are coming out they are going to be black because black looks good. I mean, it, it's uh, it's a it's a nice fine color. And our previous ones were purple, so we're going with black just so you can look at them really qu quickly and be able to tell. Hey, the new HV model is black. The old 20 volt model was purple. Just kind of an easy eyeball. And the, but the black does look good, especially in scale rigs where you're trying to hide stuff underneath. That the, the purple was subdued enough that I don't think nobody ever complained about the purple, but. I went black because it looks good. I do like black, but I also like purple. So let me know in the comments what your favorite color is. And if you were going to get some custom PCB made, what color do you think that you would do? Is it going to be regular old green? Or would you go for something that was a little bit more flashy, like red or purple or even white? Who knows? Only you will know the answer to that. Me personally, I still like the purple. I do like the purple. So... I hope that sheds a little bit of light on why PCBs are green. We just had an interesting conversation about it and I figured I would share. It's, uh, ah, this is what I do every day, I suppose. So it's interesting to me at least. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. You've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully that means you liked what you saw. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. We would like to hear new ideas from you, so be sure you let us know what you'd like to see. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.